Hello there, I'm Scott Hewitt, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to synchronize your PC using Windows Live Mesh. Now, Windows Live Mesh uses a Windows Live ID. It's a Microsoft service. Um, so if you uh, use Microsoft Net Messenger, or Live Messenger, as it's now called, um, then you can use that account to synchronize multiple PCs and their data using this online service. So what you need to do is, um, if, you're, if you're new, you need to uh, create a new login. Or if you've already got one, you can uh, just sign in by clicking this button. So if we click Sign In, we'll be brought to the, the Welcome Sign In page. And on this page, you can actually um, sign up if you haven't already uh, got a, a, a Windows Live ID. As you see down here, um, don't have a Windows Live ID, sign up. Uh, it doesn't take very long to sign up if you don't have one, but I have one, so I'm going to use it now. There we go. Right, so what you can do is you can tell it to remember you and remember your password. It's always a good idea if you're using um, Windows Live Mesh all the time. So then you click Sign In. And as you can see, it'll it'll bring up the uh, the the live mesh uh, splash screen, which is this this little almost media center esque um, spindle. So if you click on this, it'll 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 spin it round to the um, specific area. Uh, and what you need to do is you need to uh, select the live desktop, which is basically a desktop that, which um, will appear in this window here, and you need to click on connect. Now, if you connect, you can see all um, shared folders that are on Windows Live Mesh. Now, here is um, a folder which I synchronized uh, from my other machine back at the office. Um, and I can access it here in the video studio. Now, should I want to um, synchronize this um, rather than, than go in and browse the folder by clicking on it? Um, as you can see, you can go in and have a look around. Um, I can actually sync it up to this machine. And to do that, you need to add this computer as a device. So if we cl click back on the, the Live Mesh into, onto Devices here, this will bring up the, the device spindle. And um, it'll take a little while to load. There we go. And what you can do is you go to Add, add Device. And then you come down here and you select what version of Windows you're using. Uh, if you're using 64, you need to select the 64 one, but we're using 32 here. So then we click Install, and it'll ask you to save this little installer, which is uh, the uh, Windows Live Mesh little uh, applet. So we'll download that. There we go. And now this should be in our download folder. So what we can do is we can just double click on it and it will uh, execute it. It's running Firefox and click run. Now the uh, live mesh installer is quite discreet. It just kind of does its own thing. As you can see it's, it's come up down here, Windows Live Mesh. It'll start doing some things in the bottom right -hand corner of your screen. Just, just leave it to what it's doing. It may flicker your screen a couple of times. Uh, that's um, it's usually in Windows XP that it does that. It's because it's turning on uh, virtualization, which you can do in uh, Windows Live Mesh. Now, while that's happening, I'll show you what you can actually do using the live desktop. So we click Connect again, and we're back in this window again. As you can see, the, the, these are basically folders that you've, um, you, you've put up onto your uh, Live Mesh account. And... Um, then once you um, sync them up, they will, they will automatically, whenever you do any changes on the host machine of these files, it will automatically sync it up when you're online to the folder on Live Mesh. And then if you've got um, Live Mesh running on this machine, which it will be doing shortly, as you can see it keeps popping up a few little bits and pieces. You don't need to worry about it. And, and what you can do then is um, you can sync with that machine, there we go. Um, and then when you um, do changes on either machine, it will update these files here 
and then when you're online, it'll, it'll make those changes to the other file on the other end. Now, I'm not sure if you can see any of this, um, but the screen is flickering a little bit and loading. Don't worry about that. That's just Windows Live Mesh installing itself. It'll be done shortly, and you'll be able to use the service. So, um, for now, I'm just going to carry on showing you this. So, we double-click, and we get in, just like, like you do in, uh, in your regular uh, browser. Uh, now the thing is, it's actually inside this window, so you can't actually pull these folders out from here. They'll, they'll always stay within this. Um, now Live Mesh has installed, but I'll get to that in a second. And what you can do is you can you can select these files, and you can organize them, create views, and if you right-click, you can even do things like save and and save it to your local machine, or delete it, or rename it. And and you can do that with anything uh, that you've uploaded, and uh, basically make make good use of of this system so even if you're away from your computer you can manage your files and then when you start up your machine these changes will take effect now we're just going to go into live mesh now so here we go we click on that sign in and we've got to sign in once again And you may want to put sign me in automatically, but uh, we're not going to do that. And then it will sign in using the little applet. And then it will ask you to, to name this PC. Now I'm going to call this Scott Video Studio. And then click Add Device. Now you'll get a little list here of um, devices that are online. And um, as you can see here, this is Scott in the office, and this is um, Scott in the studio. And you, you can see also you've got your live desktop here. Now, if we click Connect to Device, what we can do is, if we click uh, Connect, we can connect to it and virtual, virtually use my desktop machine. Now, it's, it's not incredibly fast because it's, it's using... Um, obviously your network access to access the machine and uh, get in to the PC and as you can see here we're uh, onto my computer and you can see everything that I've been working on and we can also use this machine just like we're, we're actually there so we can go to the PC Answers website using my other machine through Windows Live Mesh. So it's, a, it's one way to do a, a virtualized machine. So, so for example, if, say, you're, um, you're at work and, and you want to check on a download that you've left, um, now what you can do is you can connect up to your machine and you can see what's going on. You can come down into your taskbar um, if you've got, say, a torrent running and you can stop that from working and, and basically make use of this, this amazing virtual desktop application here. Now that's that's one way you can use Windows Live Mesh, and we're just going to disconnect from that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we sync this folder, which we've got, um, with our machine here. So we right-click and we go to Change Synchronization Settings. And what you can do is you can come over here and you can see that that there's um, when files are added or modified on the drop-down next to Scott Office. And next to Scott Video Studio, which we've just put on, it says never with this device. Now, if we want to um, basically synchronize this whenever you know we're online, then uh, we want to uh, select when files are added or modified. So that way, then, whenever the, we add files or modify the ones here, there on either machine, it will automatically add them to the live desktop, which is this background here. And then it will automatically, whenever we come online and log in to Windows Live Mesh, it will automatically sync up with the two machines. Now, because we've got this applet running right now, what we can do is uh, we can right-click any folder and tell it to sync it with Windows Live Desktop. And it will appear here on our, on our Live Desktop. Um, and every time that you tell it to sync, with another machine. So like when we change the sync settings and told it when 
files are added or modified, we a it actually created a desktop icon. And this desktop icon automatically opens up the, um, the network drive or the synced, synced folder. So that's, that's another way of getting to it using this system. And as you can see here, as it's downloading the files, Windows Live places a placeholder uh, file in, in its place just until it's finished syncing the files. Um, so that's, that's how you, you sync with that. And here's how you can add your own synced files using this. I mean, I set that up personally previously using uh, the other machine, my, uh, my, my um, main office machine. So if we want to, say, um, sync up my docs folder, we just right click and then we come up and uh, we go to add folder to live mesh. And this will automatically add this documents folder here um, straight to a Windows Live Mesh desktop. So let's do that right now. We're just going to go add folder to Windows Live Mesh and we're going to call this Video Studio Documents. And then we click OK. It will create a Windows Live Mesh folder. So if we click back here, you can now see that Video Studio Documents has appeared. And whenever we do any changes to this folder here, which is now the icon has changed, it will automatically make the changes to this folder on our um, Windows Live Mesh when we're online. And then if we go on to the other machine, my, my work machine at the other side, right click, or we can do it through this one, we can tell it to sync whenever the files are added or modified. So that way then, you're, you're syncing them between the two. Another thing you can do, say if we wanted to share this particular folder, before we even get to that point, we can go to show synchronization options. And then we can set it to automatically share and sync with everything before we even get into Windows Live Mesh. That way then you can, you can set everything going and then it will just automatically sort things out. You don't have to go to mesh.com and log in and go to your virtual desktop. All you have to do is you just got to make your changes through Windows itself and save your settings and then it will automatically update We are Windows Live Mesh um, account and then it will update it on any machine that you've got synced up through the devices menu. So that's how you can synchronize all your your favorite files and folders using Windows Live Mesh.